Hey everyone. So it's Saturday night again and I'm back on here um, to give you a review on a wig that I bought with my own funds. guess I haven't said that in a while but just uh, a little FYI I pay for all my own wigs and have since I started. So anyways, um, so once again I mowed grass all day so I feel really tired. But anyways, um, I wanted to get on here and get, I got this uh, wig in the mail Saturday, which today's Monday. So I wanted to get my review out because I'm excited because I do not open these and I do not look at them until I do my open boxing because I want my excitement on here to be the way it would be if I opened it by myself. So anyways, um, it is a, another John Renault because I'm wearing Miranda and I'm so in love with her and I can't believe that I've been missing out on John Renault all this time because I thought they would be too small. So anyways, I'm hoping this one fits the same as this one so I can enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying this one. So anyways, in my box, I got my little wig and I got a little wig cap. Um, so this wig is, hope you can see that, it's Alessandra and it is in color, they call it Shaded Mocha, it's the 24 BT 18 S8 and basically it's shaded with an 8 color which is same as this one on Miranda, but it's a 24, which would be the blonder highlight, and then the 18 is going to be probably more of a, the ash brown. And the BT, I think, I'm not sure, I really couldn't find any information on it, but the B, BT has something to do possibly being tipped, um, but not, don't quote me on that because I don't know for sure. But anyway, so this is Alessandra, and she is part of the Smart Lace collection, and I'm so excited. I just, I just really, really pray this this wig is going to be really, really good. So of course you get your little John Renault care thing, and of course you get a little thank you where you bought it from. Comes in this little package. Which you guys, I know you guys all know how they come. But anyways, it is in a, looks like it's in a hairnet. And the color looks a little darker. I, I would have thought it would have been more blonde just because of the numbers. But um, we'll see. Because this one is a 12 SF8. So this is the 8. And this blonde would be the 12. So I would think 18 would be actually lighter, but it, it looks a little dark from what I can see. But anyways, so it comes in the little wig cap, well the little netting off, or the little, not a wig cap, a netting, take the little netting off, and I don't know if you can see that one better. Alessandra. I'm not good at getting that. And I have lighting issues. My, my kitchen lights are dim. So I put some lamps behind me to try to get some extra lighting in here. Hopefully that would help to be able to see things better. So anyways, um, she is a lace front right there. From, it looks like from ear tab to ear tab on the on the edge of the top of the ear tab so I guess that would be temple temple to temple um, she is a mono filament top and one of the things I did see on the review was that she's a smaller mono filament top than this part right here because this parts added in where normally your mono filament to tops go all the way to the edge and she is your basic wefting like pretty much everything I have um, 
She has the Velcro tabs, which we're just gonna, since I have a big head, we're gonna leave them right on the edge. Um, anyways, I'll turn her inside out. And that is your coloring. So the, the root is an eight, which is same as the Miranda. And then I guess the 18 is the base. And then the 24 is going to be your little highlights. Now they have the same color that's called Eclair in the 24 BT18, but it doesn't have the S8, which is the shaded root. So, but they, you know, they say you can substitute these two wigs for each other, these two colors. If you, you know, if they're out of one color, you can get the other and there's not that big of a difference at all. So, but anyways, um, it, it seems a little darker than what I was expecting. Um, I guess because this one is really, really light, um, and it, it does not seem, I don't know, maybe it does on the film, I can't, I'm just looking at the camera, but anyways, um, it looks just a little bit darker, but I'm actually thinking that might be good because fall is here, and I am getting, probably within the next month, maybe October, I'm going to switch over or switch back, put some of my blondes away and switch back to my some of my darker wigs. So this one might fall into the, even though they say it is a blonde, it might fall into the, the darker um, category of wigs. So I might be able to wear it this fall. Anyways, so I'm going to put her on and then we will, well, we could talk about the measurements. Um, the front which is the bang right there, is 8.5. The crown is supposed to be 13.75, which goes all the way down to there. The sides are 10.5, which I guess is right there. And the nape is 13.75. And this wig weighs 5.3 ounces. So I'm gonna throw her on and I'll be right back. Sorry, knocked my box in the floor there. Um, trying to do that throw on a little bit faster so I don't hold you guys up so long. Okay. Maybe, possibly, feels a little bit snugger than the Miranda. But I have been wearing the Miranda a little bit. And so maybe it's gotten a little bit of stretch. I have been... When I'm not wearing it, I do keep it on my blockhead just to keep it um, more my size because, as you all know, if you watch my videos, I have a 23-inch circumference, which is classified as a big head. So, um, anyways, I don't know if I'm getting all this in the frame or not, but so here's your eight and a half in the front, right there. Your crown, which it would be back here, is your 13.75. And then your sides, which would be right here, which would be like probably 10. And then your nape, of course, in the back is 13.75. So your crown and your nape are the same distance, or the same length. It's just that your crown starts here and your nape starts here. So that makes it layered gives it a layered look but anyways um, the density is great um, just doesn't I mean this wig says it weighs 5.3 ounces it doesn't it doesn't feel it it doesn't feel that way at all but it's uh, I don't know if I'm getting all this in there it's pretty long it comes down to here on me so 
I'm going to so it has the mono top but of course it's a little bit smaller than the Miranda the Miranda monofilament is oh well no never mind the Miranda doesn't have a monofilament it has a mono part just a part but anyways so this wig can be parted anywhere within that mono top so you could if you're this is your side you want to part it on you could flip it over here so very nice lace you can see that looks really natural it looks like a real part so and then of course if you want to go over here you can do that too this depends on if you're a right or a left or a middle parter. Um, I think this wig is wanting, it's wanting to go right now in the center, I think. Um, it, the, the hair seems to stay back in that, in that, on that parting space. So, so we'll leave it in the center for now and I'll probably move it to the left because I am a left. Um, ear tabs. Like, that's my hair right there. And the ear tabs hit me. I've got a finger in between the top of the ear, or the bottom of the ear tab and the top of my ear. So that's pretty nice. It's not, you know, hindering your ear there. This side, it's basically, it's got good coverage because I don't really... I mean, I, that is my hair right there, but I have to almost pull it out in order to see it. You can see it now. Um, but same thing. The ear tab is definitely a finger. Let me make sure I got this completely straight. So yeah, definitely a finger, a finger's width in between there. So, yep, I'm liking it. <laughs> It's so pretty. And I think the color's good. I was worried. I was really worried about the color. Even though I had watched so many reviews on this Alexandra, and there are a ton of views out there, but same goes. There's wig reviews for this wig from five years all the way up to a year, and then there are a couple that are current, like within the last, you know, Five to seven months so I thought you know I mean just every wig I buy no matter if it's been deleted or discontinued or if it's available I just like to review it I like for you guys to see it because it seems like to me and I didn't realize this but it seems like to me that all these wigs keep cycling back through but I could be wrong. Either that or they, um, they stay. I don't know. But it seems like I'm looking at reviews from seven years ago that people are doing for wigs that we're wearing today. So I think that they take the, the popular ones and they modify them and bring them back in or something. So, But anyways, um, so let me do a spin for you. So this is my right side. The hairs, the fibers are nice. And then, of course, this is the front. And this is my left side. And then... This is going to be your back, and I don't know if I can get all get this all in there, but hopefully you guys can see it. This is the back. It's very nice. Moves. I feel like it's got good movement. So, anyways, I'm liking it, girls and guys. I guess I should say. Um, I actually think I like the color too. I think it's a little bit darker and it looks, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty natural. Um, 
sometimes I think I've, I've stayed away from the platinum blondes and things like that because, oh, sorry, my face is itching. Because I kind of feel like they don't look real. And especially if they have permatease. They do not look real at all. So, but, yep, I'm excited. Uh, I can't believe that I have missed out all this time on John Renault. Um, I guess I just keep, I keep learning. I keep making mistakes and I keep trying different ones. Not, I don't want to say mistakes. Don't, I don't want to say that because basically everything that I've gotten with the exception of a few that I've, um, I know that I'm not going to wear and I've gone ahead and, you know, um, paid it forward to someone else that, you know, I, I felt like, you know, could utilize them and, you know, so, but for the most part, every, just about every wig that I've bought, I have been wearing, I've been trying to, whether I, um, you know, just put it on for a short time, a little bit all, all the time and wear it. Wow, you guys, this is so beautiful. I am so happy. Anyways, I've gone on for 16 minutes, so, um, I'm going to get off of here. I've got uh, one more um, review that I want to do. It's not really a review. It's just a more information thing. But anyways, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to get that one done. But what do you guys think? Tell me what you think. Let me know. And as always, I love you guys. And I'm going to pray that the Lord blesses you. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.